diagnostic samples that are to be sent to a diagnostic laboratory for avian influenza confirmation belong to infectious substances category B and should be transported in compliance with IATA packaging instructions 650 and identified by the UN code UN3373. Any packaging for biological substances must include three components, a primary receptacle, a secondary packaging and a rigid outer packaging. Primary receptacles are rigid containers in direct contact with the specimen, such as tubes or vials. It is important that the receptacle can be closed with a screw cap ensuring watertight containment and pressure resistance. Note that shipment of samples in plastic bags is strongly discouraged. If several samples are included in the shipment, they should be individually identified. A list of all sample identification numbers should be transmitted separately to the reference laboratory. Information about each sample, such as bird species, date and place of collection and a contact number of the person in charge for sample collection is also recommended. Remember to change gloves after touching samples. The secondary packaging that fully encapsulates the primary receptacle must meet the IATA 650 and 620 packaging requirements that guarantee characteristics such as water tightness, autoclavability and pressure resistance. Each sample should be wrapped individually. For liquid specimens, absorbent material that is sufficient enough to absorb the entire contents of all the primary receptacles must be placed between the primary receptacle and the secondary packaging. IATA transport boxes are provided with an external cardboard box which has the appropriate codes such as UN3373 and biological substances category B printed on it. Since avian influenza suspected samples require transport on ice, the secondary box should be protected from moisture by sealing it in a watertight plastic bag. The rigid outer packaging should contain the secondary packaging together with dry or wet ice to maintain cold chain. Protective glasses and gloves are required in order to avoid contact with the skin and eyes. If wet ice is used, the outer packaging must be leak proof. If dry ice is used, the packaging must allow for the release of carbon dioxide gas. Dry ice should never be placed inside a watertight container as it can explode. The itemized list of contents can be attached to the lid of the outer packaging in a sealed plastic bag. IATA standard boxes normally come with the code already printed on the side. The relevant UN identification number should be visible, including the dry ice label. It is important that the package carries the appropriate codes, otherwise it will not be handled as an urgent consignment and may even be opened at the airport. Outer packaging documentation is fundamental and consists of import authorization from the destination country and the pro forma invoice. The shipper and the consignee's identification addresses and contact telephone number are required.